What happened to the other ones? I am trying to wake up. Still got makeup on from yesterday. Um, Twelve o'clock's not late, but we've been going to bed pretty early, so <clears throat> I am um, having a hard time waking up. <laughs> Hubby went to work on some stuff on the boat. And then... Oh, it seems so gloomy today. He had plans to go out on, not on our boat, someone else's boat. But, um... <clears throat> I don't know, we'll see. Yeah. It was so cold last night, I had to turn the heat on and put my winter pajamas on. Like, uh, I think it was Friday night, it rained really hard. And then yesterday, it was just gloomy and yucky. And then it got cold last night. And today, it's just cold and gloomy. So, not getting to go out in the boat this weekend, I guess. But next weekend is my nephew's birthday party. And... I am not swimsuit ready, but I am working on my abs. It's not quickly enough because I took a break and apparently it was too long of a break. <laughs> so, I mean, it's gonna happen. So I gotta figure that out. <laughs> it is laundry day and hair washing day. And my husband's taking a nap, so, but I still needed to get the, <laughs> the clothes in the washer because I guess we got a gem because I put all his shorts in there. <laughs> I did. I was like, I'm putting all the jackets in. I'm putting all the shorts in there. Because he doesn't have any work shirts now. So, I have, I'm not washing just four work shirts. So, <laughs> And then I got to wash my hair and get ready for the day. And I already cleaned the stuff. I got to do dishes. It's all. And then... Get ready, and I don't know that about twelve thirty, so it's not too bad on a Sunday. So since Hubby's still taking a nap, I don't want to disturb him, so I'm gonna go in the bathroom with his the bedroom and bother him, even though the washer's still going and it's about to stop. And I gotta put stuff in the dryer. But anyway, so I thought I'll clean out the fridge and take the trash out, put the trash by the road since the trash runs tomorrow. You know, I'll do what I can until he wakes up. <laughs> I actually kind of bored, so I'm just doing my house stuff, which I thought I was done with, but I was like, wait a minute, I'm not actually done yet. Well, he's away now, so I can go wash my hair. So I'm going to remake the bed. He's usually pretty good at it, but he's half asleep. <laughs> well, the gloomy day turned into cleaning day all day <laughs> well no I clean the freak so I got a lot of more dishes to do now I'll have to wash my hair and get ready for the day um, now my husband is now taking this nap on the sofa so now I can I can wash my hair and stuff but I cannot move towards the kitchen yet without waking him up so a little bit at a time so it was before 3 p.m it was probably warm enough to come out here and sweep up the mess from the storm so i had that to do too yes i'm still in my pajamas i want to finish everything before i get ready for the day that's what i usually do so yeah dishes and wash my hair Skincare is 
part of my routine. It's very important. This is it's starting to dry. This is this is starting to dry. It's starting to dry, but this is a a peel. Sorry. It already started or I would have been my tripod out. Peeling all that dead skin right off. Now let's rinse it off. So this so this is what I do. Let's that pat dry. And then now we are going to I'm supposed to look in the <laughs> mirror for the camera. And now I am going to do my creeps. I was trying to decide if today is face mask day. <laughs> look what I'm finally doing. <laughs> now I got the conditioner in. And what I do is I draw my hair after I wash it. Well, I mean, I put it. I wash my hair and then I put it in a towel. And that makes the conditioner stick to my hair better if it's more dry. And then I put it up in towel and let it sit for a while. Then I rinse it out. This is my basic makeup look. See? No eyeliner. I just do mascara. There's a mascara I use when I just want to not have to. <laughs> I don't know, I do it just look longer naturally. I do my eyebrows and I put on some foundation. And that is my natural look. I just gotta blow dry my hair, straighten or curl it, get dressed, because I really want to record a story this evening. Since it's not raining, we're not going to the workout or 10 today, but we are going to Academy Sports. Instead of going home and make spaghetti squash casserole and wash these dishes. I don't know why I'm doing that. So, change of plans. We decided I didn't have to cook. Um, we went to Academy Sports to look for something for my husband. And um, anyway, and then he was like, you know what? I kind of want an Arby's. He loves to get lunch and shakes. Freaking loves them. But he knows how to cook out shakes. But I don't like cook out food. So, sorry, I'm shaking the phone. And so we went to Arby's and got everything. And then we went to cook out to get my shake. And we never eat out this much. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, we, um, let's just say my husband's taking another nap. <laughs> He got full. And then, uh, so yeah, I just gotta do the dishes that I've been working on all day. And then I can get recording on the story. I gotta pick out a story real quick. I mean, they're my stories, so I know them all, right? <laughs> I've been doing a stay with thoughts a few times, so I'm going to do a lay down or bed. Let's get it. I know, I have gained so much weight, you all. It is ridiculous. I have to pull everything up as far as I can. Like, y'all, this happened so quickly. Like, your thyroid can do that. My test results should be back any day now, but I'm really scared to see how bad it is. If you also watch my TikTok videos, then you know that I had a plan to buy a deck a week and that really expensive deck until my husband made a system for me. But I realized then I just have a bunch of decks because he's not gonna build a system for me. <laughs> we have all these projects and he's not gonna build it. Or is he? Keep watching to find out. So my husband made a deal with me. So anyway, I, I bought four more decks but at the end of June to the beginning of July. So it was like five days, I bought four decks and then I stopped. But I'm kind of want to get back into buying them. And so he better, you know, keep that deal with me because he hasn't got very far on his projects. But he had plenty of time. He's been out of work for 
Uh, the last day he worked was June 8th, no, July 8th. And so he's had plenty of time. It is now August 10th. Put my selfie stick up, so sorry, y'all. <laughs> look, they're getting so big. They are. They're getting so big. They're dirty. They used to be inside, now they're out. So, so, where's the other ones? What happened to the other ones? I saw them. Oh. Um, this baby needs to be clean. We don't actually use the TV in the bedroom, but it may be going in our living room right now, which I don't want to freaking talk about. Oh my god. But anyway, so this thing is I love it. I was looking for one and I found one a while back. It's got some yellow undertones to it, and I'm not really sure why because we don't smoke inside or anything. But um there's a setting on the washer where you can do it and then just do air dry in the jar. And I love it. I think I paid like I don't know, 20 bucks at TJ Maxx for it, believe it or not. I'm making this. And I hope it'll cook on top. But, um, yeah. One of those pork, it's like a pork roll you get at the grocery store and it's already flared. And then I just chopped up some potatoes, rinsed them, and put them in uh, olive oil and seasonings. But you're gonna have to do anything and just put it in the oven. <laughs> Easiest meal ever. Orientation for my job. As you can see, where I'll be working. <laughs> I have not been recording lately, but I am at work, still training. And I just, I don't know. Sorry, I was looking at my eyeshadow. <laughs> it's day two, but it's like technically day three. And. I'm really nervous because I'm getting towards the end and I don't feel like I'm ready yet. Check out the bracelet I made before work yesterday. It is sulanite and black tourmaline. The tourmaline isn't completely black because, well, I don't know if you can tell, but it has composites in it. I have some tourmaline like that and I think it's really cool. So that's the kind of beads I wanted. But anyway, yes, it is tiny because my wrist is tiny. <laughs> See, here it is. I haven't decided if I want more tourmaline in it or just keep it the way it is because I do want to make other bracelets so I can have all different types. When I see stuff like this, I think, why do people say, I can't find a job? You can start tomorrow. How, how can you not find a job? You interview today and you start tomorrow. Nobody wants to work. It is time to go to work, kinda. I got some stuff to do before work, but I think I put too much foundation on today, but I really wish you guys could see what my eyes look like in person, cause it looks way better. I like look in the mirror and I'm like, that's so pretty, but you guys can't see what I see. It sucks, but anyway, um, I got a lot of good news today. I paid off a debt and I'm in the process of paying off that rest, which isn't much. And my husband got a great job offer. So, the one of his dreams, I am so excited. It does suck it gets paid once a month, but I work, so that's okay. And we're getting everything paid off. I'm just so excited of all the things coming. I just, and I don't, I never have time to spend any money. <laughs> so, it just goes to the bills anyway, so. That's good. That's really good. It's really bad lighting in here. It looks like I got a weird face. That is much better. Well, this video, so all my videos are, they all started out with about the same amount in each area, but that's gonna be changing. And also, <clears throat> I, I was focusing on my life, so there wasn't much witch stuff, which sucks because it's called In the Life of a Witch, but that's going to be changing. 
I had to get financially stable. Um, I need to help my husband out for a while before I could, and then he got laid off right after I got the job. Um, but before I had actually started it. So anyway, I, I just wanted to get ahead on things and then I can start on what I need to start on. And I'm, I'm really excited about that. And I hope you guys continue down this journey with me. I haven't decided if I'm going to get rid of the channel. Like, not get rid of it, but just not record much anymore. Once I get to my one-year mark, I haven't decided if it's going to be worth it to me. So, I'm hoping that I can get to a 1,000 by then because then it'll be worth it to me. Just because I know that I've hit that goal that I have. And... That my channel actually matters because if it doesn't there's no point in me having it i want it to make a difference i want to make a difference in the world you know what i'm saying it is the pet store <gasps> look you guys oh my sweet oh my gosh Did he find something you wanted? Did he? He loves animals. More than people. Thank you. Oh, actually looking for cats, but you ain't got no cats. This story is of Forest Avenue. I done a story on that house and I had photos for it on I think story three. So anyway, uh not long after I had moved in. I, it was just me and my, my toddler, so I got these little alarms at my job. I worked at Ross Rice for less. And I put the little alarms on the windows and stuff. And uh, I don't know, to make me feel safer, I guess. <laughs> and I, I had been dealing with something and it, it, it was getting rough. Um, I'll tell you what it was uh, first. And, I had been dealing with uh, some weird stuff. So, like, I would hear glass crack, like, breaking and, and people coughing and talking about, like they were um, angry or something. I couldn't make out what they were saying. And then um, I could smell cigarette smoke. Okay. 
and I would go downstairs and there's nobody down there. I thought someone was breaking in, you know, and I'm like, I, that I got alarms everywhere, like, they've got to be getting that door, like, I just don't understand. So, one night, it got so bad that I called the police, and they come to my house, and I remember it was a black officer and a white officer. The black officer says to me, ma'am, I hate to say this, but we've checked everything, and as odd as it is that yes, there are cigarettes that you don't smoke, which are Marvel Lights, I in an ashtray that you don't own downstairs, that part is odd. But there is no glass, there's no one down there. I really think that you're dealing with something paranormal. And it's probably only going to get worse. So you might want to try to find a way to hurry and get rid of this house. <laughs> and I'm like, so yeah, that was, that was basically the beginning of it. I mean, yeah, my son had already been thrown. Uh, at this point, um, you know, the other story hadn't happened yet, but it is just kept going from there. It was like, Wow, like I've had all this paranormal stuff happen to me all my life, but I just didn't expect that. It was so real. Like I could hear them coughing, but it was always like the same time. So they were in a time loop is what I'm guessing. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the story and until next time, stay witchy. <laughs>